the boxing session. As we know, every Monday we are coming live with the boxing and of course uh, different social media accounts. <laughs> I kidnapped someone's phone today in someone's account. So do I look like Steve Eckert? I do not. So hello hello you guys must be so surprised that i'm here here we go i am here so we're gonna start get ready with that bag the bag is what you need and some medicine ball yes you need medicine ball for the boxing workout how is that right yes you need medicine ball guys you need medicine ball so we're gonna start really quickly we're gonna start really quickly we're gonna start shuffling forward and then two shoulders rotation, shuffle back and backwards. So remember about the shuffle. Shuffle cannot be with your feet close together. They have to be kind of diagonal, okay? If you fall going forward, your left leg, your leading leg is going forward. And I am righty, so my left leg is first. So follow me. And again, shuffle forward, both rotations, shoulder, shuffle back and back. Two times, that's it circles nice big shoulder rotation now when you're going back I want you to lead with your right leg one more time big shoulder rotation and back boom right here we're still gonna continue with the shuffle and you're gonna give me jab shuffle back and cross so again jab from the chin boom shuffle back and cross why we need medicine ball because we're gonna be doing some kicks with it and we're gonna be trying to hold the plank as well so that's why you need the medicine ball today that's it if you don't have a medicine ball look around what else you can use Whew, jab boom cross remember cross has to pivot that's it boom straight from the chin and across i see you guys logging in hello hello who's with me and back boom across and again shuffle forward jab shuffle back cross we're gonna go right into left hook and shuffle back and right hook so forward, left hook, shuffle back, right hook. Listen, this is a full 60 minutes of the workout. So stay with me, 60 minutes. Not half an hour, not 10 minutes, not some clip, full 60 minutes. So just train with me today. And again, left, pivot, right. We're gonna go right into upper, left upper, boom. Aim for the chin, 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 right here, and right upper. So the hand that is not punching still stays at the chin. Elbows are tucked in. Oh yeah, and shuffle. Maybe this is gonna be your second workout of the day. That would be so awesome if I would know that you guys did some workout already. Our Peak Freaks have a whole application ready for them. Weeks planned of the workouts. So you never miss a workout. And again, left, and then behind, right, go forward. One, two, go back, three, four, go forward, five, six. You got this one? Let's do this. Again, one, two, you see where we started? Now back, one, two, forward, three, four, five, six. We're putting them all together. Now forward is one, two. One, two, shuffle back, three, four, forward, five, six. Now you know the numbers, you need to know the numbers. Learn the numbers with me, one, two. Hook, hook, shuffle back, upper, upper. One more time through, one more time. And we're gonna do a little stretching. Remember, pivoting on those hooks, and five and six. Shuffle back, and right here, we're gonna do crisscross jacks. Pump those calves, pump those arms. Light on your feet. Keep those arm shoulder level. Okay? Arm shoulder level. Just like this. Light on your feet. Fire. Bring the fire every second of every second in time. Now we're gonna go alternating toe touches. Across. Breathe up. Deep breath in. And exhale. And again. Deep breath in. And exhale. One more time. And Exhale, you can hold on to your back, do a quad stretch, slightly bent knee, descending one, push your hips forward, and pull that heel into the glute, okay? So you guys look in, 
Write it down where you're coming from. Yes, I see a bunch of you here. Nice work, guys. You guys will be working out. Or are you just gonna be watching? Watching is not gonna get you anywhere. Everybody putting their gloves on now. All right, knee hugging. You can walk forward. Breathe out. Two, three seconds. And pull that knee. And again. See, I have different gloves today. I do not have my full gloves for a reason. Again, walk back. Step forward. Pull it. And again, pull. Because it's a quick switch. We gotta do quick switches today. And we need to have that medicine ball. So I have a big one and I have a small one, but you're gonna work whatever you have at home, doesn't matter. We're gonna have punching rounds, and then we're gonna have the medicine ball rounds, and we're gonna have the kick rounds. But before, before we're gonna start, we're gonna move and loosen up your hips, okay? So we're gonna start just with the right knee. So left leg is forward, boom, set forward. And then reset back. You can do a little shuffle, boom and light on your feet. So we can move around, look, and light on your feet. You see how I'm moving? I am never crisscrossing my feet. I'm always in the standard stand position, bam, like this. And again, move around, move around. And again, light on your feet, light on your feet. That's what I want you to do. So even this simple movement can get you out of breath. Because you're putting effort into it. Everything you need to put some effort in, right? Yes. Now switch. So we're gonna now do a switch step. So look, this is your stance. Hands are up, elbows tucked in. We're gonna go boom, boom, and back to the center. Back to the beginning. You see how I did the switch step? Jump, boom, step, step. Again, jump, boom, step, step. So you always wanna go back to the basics, right? And step. And I'm shuffling and I'm moving around and back. I'm always with my left leg forward and step. So you see, I can move around anywhere. Boom, boom. When the time comes, I'm bringing that knee up, right? And again, light on your feet. Come on, guys, shuffling, shuffling. And time. We're gonna do the same with the legs. You ready? But starting with the right leg first, not the left one, again. So don't kick the bag yet, just the air. And reset. And again, you can shuffle, look. And shuffle, light on your feet. And boom. Set up your own rhythm. Your own rhythm here. We're just warming up. And again. And time, now we're gonna do a switch step. Switch, kick, and back to the beginning. Now you know that one, right? Switch, kick, back to the beginning. And again, you can shuffle. If this is too hard for you, just stay in place and back. Switch, step, kick, and back. Switch, step, kick, and back. Or you can boom, boom, step, kick, step, step. Easy. Light on your feet. And time. Stretch those hamstrings, raise them up. You can raise them on the bed, like I have it, maybe on the bench. Maybe you have a home couch, whatever you have there. Lean forward, both feet facing the same direction. Toes are up. Make sure that the toes are up. The higher, the better. So if you have something higher <coughs> than your knee or knee level, that's good. I'm leaning forward, back is straight. I'm gonna touch my toes. And loosen up one more time, just feet are wide. Just stay loose, stay loose here. Put the gloves on, get ready, a sip of water. I drink my pre-workout, pre-workout is done. I am left with water because I was lifting. Before, who is with me? Oh, I see a bunch of you guys, nice. Who's training with me today? All right, guys, let's not. Starting with one, four, five. So on the bag, if you know it, one, four, five. So it's kind of straight, right hook, left upper. Straight, left, right, left. Get into the rhythm. You ready? Go. Hit it. Hit it. Go, go, go. 
one, four, five. Light on your feet. I am non-stop shuffling, moving around. I like that. I like that little reset. And non-stop, non-stop movement. Back in the bag. One, four, five. Straight hook upper. And if something will get tight, you guys have to stretch it. All right? Stretch. Throughout the session, just cast. Stretch because there's a lot of cast here. Be not non-stop on the ball of your feet. Think about it, you're bouncing around throughout the whole time. So that's why they can get tight a little bit. If they do, make sure you are stretching. Yes. And time, get your ball. I have that bigger one right now. Right here, we're we just gonna ho hold a plank position. So look, my hands are outside on that ball, and I'm just holding a plank. Now, the hands should be in line with your shoulders. You shouldn't be here, you shouldn't be there, you shouldn't look at your stinky feet. You should be looking down, down on that ball. Feet together, brace your abs, brace your abdominals, tight and strong, and you're gonna feel this in your core. Pull the belly button in, hold on, you have it. But then, breathe, don't hold the breath, okay? Just stay in here, we're just getting ready. When I warm up the shoulders by doing this, the plank is good, feet together, tight, strong stomach, strong shoulders, hips, glutes, nice and tight here, good work. Just hold it here and time. Now I'm gonna switch to a lighter ball and smaller ball, medicine ball like this if you have it, awesome. We're gonna start with medicine symbol at your chest and we're gonna hold right here and we're gonna just do the right kick. But again, look, I'm shuffling, I can move around. Or you can really stay here and bang those kicks if you want to. Or you can shuffle with me in and out, lying on your feet. If you don't have a bag, you're gonna hold the ball in front of you and you're just gonna do a kick. I don't want you to raise the arm yet. I don't want you to push the arm out. Hold it, listen to the instructions, okay? Listen to the instructions. We're gonna pay attention to details. So, at your chest, we're gonna activate the bicep nicely here, boom. It's gonna get on fire. So I'm showing you both. If you have a bag, boom, I want you to kick it strong. Don't worry about that left leg. We're gonna get into it. Breathe out, squeeze your abs. You're gonna do this right tomorrow. Your midsection will be so on fire. You're gonna remember my name. You know my name. The freak calls me Russian. Does this flag looks like a Russian to you flag, people? Learn, learn. This is not a Russian flag. Who knows it? Who knows what the flag is? What the flag re represents? Come on. <laughs> Somebody better answer. One more, and time. Dump that ball. You're going right into the same circuit. One, four, five. We're not going to get it complicated, because then you're going to forget it. So just stay here. One, four, five. Move around if you don't have a bag. Move around if you don't have a bag.
like shuffle. Intensity, like good, strong punches. These are so different with these balls. So different, make a strong fist here. Last padding, this one. Feels like always the other ones, you can punch stronger. So you gotta move faster. Right? One, four, five. Come on, guys. One, four, five. Light on your feet. Keep on going, keep on going. Keep on going. Good on time, good on time. And time. Get back right into your ball. You're gonna hold that plank right here like you started before. The same goal, the same idea. Feet together, but now we're gonna lift one leg. So we'll lift one leg off the floor. Now, so much activation in your opposite leg on the floor, and then slowly switch and do the other leg. We're not gonna be holding it for the whole entire time, kind of firing up the quads and drop. And again, firmly on the ball of your feet, lift the other leg, point the toes, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hamstrings. There's always a lot of to think of. Of course, it should be. And here, hold it on the ball of your feet. Keep that good balance and switch. And again, a few seconds, strong core activation. Make sure that your shoulders are in a good position, that you're not going anywhere, that you're down. Strong and tight, strong. Good, get that ball, that smaller one. We're going to kick on the left. You ready? Kick it. Bam, bam, right into the screen. Go, but look, if you're here, you gotta come closer to do this one. Or what you can do, switch step like we learned in a warm up and kick it, right? You can do shuffle, switch step, kick. You see the ball is still at your chest. I don't want you to raise the ball. There will be a time that we're gonna raise the ball, right? That everything has a place, its own place, its own time. You can't skip the steps. Never, you shouldn't. You should never skip the steps. If you skip the steps, you're usually falling back. So all the steps should be in place. That's what we teach you here at Peak. It's not only the workouts, but right now advanced accountability on the app. Again. Boom, boom. Shuffle. And again, boom, boom. A few more times. Shuffle less, shuffle more. It's up to you. Oh yeah, those arms are on fire. And this is just the beginning of the workout. Ah. Time. Dump it. Sip of water, of course, if you have to. And we're going into the other side. Two, three, six. So show me two, three, six. What's two? What's three? What's six? Two, three, six. Say again. Cross, hook, right upper. Ready? Let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. And you're shuffling light on your feet. Light on your feet, light on your feet. Let's do this. See my position of my arm changes, but you can hit it both ways. You can go that way. You can go that way. Some people will go this way, it doesn't matter. Attack. 
more, a few more. We're not giving up. We're not quitting. Like a lot of people will do this month. Month of quitting is March. If you do not know this, that's a proven fact. Has been studies done on it. So if you consider your quit, or quitting or quitted already, you fall into the wrong path. And usually from that is down the hill. So we gotta really raise, raise up to put more work and being more committed. And time, get into the ball, big ball or small ball, whatever you have. Right here. All right, you ready for this? Let's do this. So we're gonna start with that leg raise. So after the leg is raises, you raise the leg, you're gonna go out to the side and then reset. So lift and out to the side and then a reset. So hold. One, two, three seconds, squeeze and reset and go slow. This is not a rush. This is a slow, slow, slow tempo, okay? Take your time here, squeeze and reset. You see how I'm extending that leg, going out to the side, extending it again, and then bringing it down, right? Yes, lift, squeeze, lift, and then bring it down. Lift and squeeze and lift and then go down. One more. Shoulders on fire. Should be at this point as normal when you do boxing and this. Grab your ball. Grab your ball. Now we're gonna go back to the right. But the moment we're gonna hold the ball up as you're kicking, okay? So, boom, kick. You can still a shuffle. You can stay light on your feet. Boom. Light on your feet, guys. Arms are overhead. Yes. We like to combine boxing with some element of boot camp, some core, different exercises here that will challenge you. Arms are up, kick it, so no bag, no. The same thing, the same style. Strong kick, arms are up. Yes, arms are up. And time, drop it. Not gonna be staying here for a few minutes. Go back to the first, punch as we did in this round. So we're going two, three, six. Let's do this. The same combination. You're training this one more time. Going through your head. Yes. Go, go, go. Nice work. Pumping. Yes. Again. Go, go, go. Good work. Pay attention to your feet. Pay attention to your punches. And time, right into your ball. Go, the same, we're gonna repeat the same and then we're gonna go right into the left leg. Ready? Let's start with our left, left leg. So lift, out to the side and reset. Lift, out to the side and reset. Lift, out, 
Reset slowly. Lift. Squeeze. Reset. Yes. Lift. Out. Reset. That was too fast. Lift. I can fold it. Hit the cut. Hear the motion. Squeeze, 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 back straight. And time, grab that ball. We're going with arms overhead. Yes, arms overhead. Now you know the pattern. Either you're gonna do a switch step, kick, or no switch step. You're gonna be kicking right here. Guys, squeeze your abs. You can try both ways however you want it, but the arms go up. They are there. You're not bringing them down, okay? You're not bringing them down. You might want to do a switch step. Yes, you might. today what's in your pre-workout if you use any if you do any right now a bunch of you on facebook okay nice work guys are you guys working out all right shake it stretch it loosen up and drink your water mm -hmm. and we are going to the next one I am here. I'm not going anywhere. You better not going anywhere too. You better don't stop getting distracted. Stop getting distracted. It's your time. We're going right into oh, one, three, five. Oh, we're gonna be having the presses coming around. One, three, five. Ready? Let's do this. So the same side, guys. One, three, five, go. And maybe a shuffle. I had a friend today. I wonder if the friend is still here in this garage. Long lizards like this. The tail was longer than his body. Let's do this. He was just here before the class. He went somewhere. I wonder if he's gonna come back out here. One day when I'm gonna be training a lady on the floor. <laughs> come on. Same side, guys. Strong, strong wrist, strong fist. Concentrate, concentrate, right there. A few more. And time. Back to your ball. It's ball time. It's ball time. Hands on it. That's why those, those gloves are awesome for this type of workout when we mix them. All right, you see me? Uh, do you see me? Can you see me right here? All right. So, lift that leg and then do a regular knee tap. We have an outside knee tap. And then a reset. So, first lift, squeeze, squeeze forward, and then reset. Single leg hold to three seconds. Squeeze up without rounding, without going like this with your back. Back is straight, back is straight. Lift, squeeze, and reset. 
and reset. Lift, squeeze, and reset. Good. Take your time. Lift and squeeze. Oh yeah, you feeling it? You should. And time. All right. Medicine ball at your chest. Back to firing the bicep. Bicep on fire. We gonna do right roundhouse. Okay. Boom. Right here. Oh yeah, that's the obliques. Tomorrow you are gonna feel them. Heavier the ball, harder is going to be, harder is going to hurt. So you're gonna squeeze that side right here when you're gonna kick. Yes, and then reset and align on your feet. Now for those of you who do not have a bag, you can do any, okay? Any, just single knee. That's it, because you're not gonna be doing a round house in the air. And we don't want to repeat front kicks. We've done plenty of those. So just single, single right leg, right? Boom. Oh yeah. Come on. So try to pivot on the standing leg when you do that. Opening up the hips. Guys, in just a few days, we are doing the bike ride. 24 hour bike ride. Ivanka just did 54 miles. Seven year old completed 54 miles on the bike. All right? Yes. I bet if she can do it, I'm sure that so many of you can do it too. So, get out there this weekend. Save that link, share with your friends and family, go out there, influence them, tell them to hop on the bike, and donate, because every penny will count. We are donating for the Big Brothers, Big Sisters organization again. We just did that in just a few days ago, submitted a check. and we're gonna do this again. Time. I'm so fire. Probably don't even feel like the heart rate goes up immediately and then you know, and you drop the ball. You're like, ha, let's do this. Repeat that. Repeat one, three, five. Going all out, maybe you hear. If you don't have a bag, you gotta go really fast, really fast. Moving around non-stop. Good punches. Still make sure that you have gloves on. They weigh a few ounces different based on you know, how tall are you, how big gloves you have. I usually wear the 12 ones. That's how you train your hands. You would be surprised how your hands get sweaty with just doing a body weight workout without any bag. Slowly lift, squeeze, and reset. So we gotta really start a 
approaching life with a little bit different perspective and way. So many people are just like trying to step away from the hard things. Just thinking that the life's gonna be somehow easier, but it's not. That's the thing, you guys. Maybe almost anticipating the hard, you know? And not quitting immediately when something gets hard and difficult. Time, get your ball. One more time. But this time, on the left. So we gotta do this left. So we're gonna do a switch step now. I told you this switch step, you guys learned the switch step today on a straight. Now switch step, boom, around house. Usually I modify here, I don't hit as hard because of my hips, so I do what I can. And you should be doing too. If you have any kind of limitations or problems with your hips or knees, Look, do what you can, maybe you cannot kick, maybe you can do just the knee, and that would be fine. Look, you can shuffle, switch step knee, and then make again, shuffle, switch step knee, right? Yeah, so dance around with your ball. That's your partner. Oh yeah, squeeze right there. Is with me. Two, four, six. Right side will be starting on the kicks. Time. Big medicine ball on the floor. So now we're gonna start right here and we're gonna push, stay here, and then go down here. So push. 
and go down and push off that ball and off the floor and go down. We're not doing a push up unless you want to. Bend your elbow slightly. Lift yourself up. Hold on that ball for a second or two and go slowly down. And then push and go slowly down. And push and go slowly down. And again, hold it here. I want you to hold it here on the center for a second. And push. And try and get that ball. Small ball. All right, back to the right. Now, we're gonna press as we kick. So, roundhouse, boom, boom. So you're gonna press when you kick. You can't do that. Maybe you wanna hold the ball and kick it if you cannot press it. So, you're gonna find the challenge either Pressing or holding as you kicking, okay? A few more. I can do a few like this, a few the other way. Squeeze. Nobody wanted to join today on the Instagram with me halfway through. Come on. I need to see you guys. It's fun. Let's do this. Thank you. Great job. Great job to you guys. I am just delivering this for you so you can start moving. And time. Dump that damn ball. Back to your two, four, six. Go. Two, four, six. Go, go, go. Thank you. Lalo, Lalo, what is it? A lot of effects. Go, go, go. The freakman is lunging somewhere, probably. Doesn't even know that he's home. I have no clue. Let's go. Strong fist, guys. Gonna repeat that one more time. That left hand stays up. Remember, don't drop it. Press, kick. Switch step, press, kick. The 
this one is much harder on the left for me. And again. And again. Switch step, press, kick. Oh, good work. Guys, if you need help with anything, really nutrition, supplements, how you should be eating, breakdown. Don't just give up and think that, you know, this is the end, this is how it has to be. No, it doesn't need to be like this. Sometimes it's just, you failed so many times or you couldn't really complete what you started and then you have like the best bad experience with something with weight loss with nutrition with workouts and then you're like giving up completely but that's not the way to live your life past experiences should never ever guide you poorly okay they can help you but not should not live with the past, that this is how it has to be. Tap the ball. We're going again, we're going one, two, three, four, five, six. It's so hot in here today. We are staying hydrated, okay? Yes. Thank you guys for making the comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. You ready? Show me. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And light on your feet, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Go, go, go. Thank you. Have an awesome day as well. It's been awesome. I make it awesome. It's up to me to make it awesome. Right? Awesome workout. Awesome nutrition. It's awesome. Go. Go, 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 go. Final rounds ahead of us. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, go. Today is boxing, tomorrow is boot camp. So we have all different ones, different sessions, different times. Almost there. 
One more. Time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hit it. Now you know it. Go, go, go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good job. Let's do it one more time with the other ball. And kicks. And we are done. We've been doing this for almost 60 minutes right now, so should be pretty tired. Your arms should be on fire right now. Your abs. If you're not, you didn't push hard enough. But sometimes it's not. To go hard, you need to learn to go hard. But some people have a natural tendency to go hard, but then also they go hard or low, and then they gas out, and then they cannot complete the session. So distributing the energy evenly to be able to accomplish, that's one thing. But also it's like things like this, anything that you're starting. Maybe you started a new program, you're so motivated, you want to lose weight, you're all fired up. And then two weeks passes, and you are totally not even into it. Simply because that heart, you didn't get immediately the result that you wanted. So you stop. But you, that's the point. That's the point that you gotta continue even more. Time. Those that do, do, those people that do hard things, they get rewarded. Remember that. All right, let's do this. Repeating stuff again. Let's do this. Left outside. Left knee tuck. Left outside. Left knee tuck. Left outside. Squeeze. Left knee tuck. Squeeze, lift. And time. Get the ball. Left, 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 left. Yes, exactly what I wanted to say. Switch step, kick, boom, roundhouse, and shuffle. Switch step, kick, and left roundhouse. Oh, what a squeeze right there. Sandbag could be good too. Here to do it with the sandbag. Yes, totally fine. And time. And we are done. We are done. You should feel accomplished. Let's go. The Julian. Serrano. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Some of you were waiting for the freak and he didn't show up. I showed up instead. You got the Russian today. 
no, it's the homework is for you to find out what's the what's the white and red flag behind me, guys. All right, we gotta get educated on this one. All right, that's your homework. You gotta learn something new every day. So, my friends, you can lay down and stretch on the floor, or you can. What is that, Jeffrey? <laughs> is that your emoji you made that one <laughs> pretty cool i like it <laughs> i really like it so cool raina anthony john christine alana gerardo paul sofia oh yeah guys look you can do the same cool down as we did on the warm-up you can just lay down on the floor just clap down stretch your arms stretch your legs do this strap, stretch, stretch, strap, stretch, strap, stretch, strap, do the foam rolling again, stretch your kids, it's your recovery. But I just, again, I wanted to remind you guys that this, 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 what we're doing right now, this workout is great, it's great we're doing the workout, but there's other things involved as far as uh, training your mind, right? Then goes your body. And then other aspect of your life so if you need accountability reach out to us because the operate to dominate is a new program that we have and it's for business owners entrepreneurs leaders anyone anyone I have different clients that some of them need a really more mind than even training that's how when they start and once we're gonna build this they might start slowly doing uh, the workouts or some of them need both some of them <coughs> need three uh, I have a lady who started a successful business and she needs all three uh, she needs to know what is what are her steps and that's what we do so look whatever they might be maybe you just need to figure out nutrition send us a message because we are here to help you and serve you and lead you to the right path because again look at if you are a person that has been starting and this is your pattern last year at the same time look what was going on in your life but a lot of times you can't even look, you don't remember because you don't journal, you don't write maybe, you don't even know what was going on in your life. And that's what we teach you, to kind of being able to look back and see the steps, what was happening to you, because it's very important to track. Once you track, you know where you can go, where you were, what you can improve, right? If you don't, if you have no tracking on it, it's going to be hard for you to realize where the mistakes have been made. But anyway send us a message and of course don't forget about the bike ride don't forget the application i'm gonna send you guys right now here the link right here on facebook yes you guys can get this one going and if you need of course any other direction let us know and make sure that you are joining us for the 24 hour bike ride. It's gonna, it doesn't matter. You don't need to stay 24 hours. It's all about getting involved and getting the link and sending it out there and start donating and having fun with us and taking your family out, out and doing the stuff with us because that's what we're gonna be doing. So join us on the bike ride. Stay tuned on the upcoming sessions. Don't miss them. And if you have any questions, let us know. No excuses. Thank you for joining.